fucking things got bad. What the fuck? Uh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why it's being a little bit finicky. But we're gonna continue from last time. I go ahead, Ichi. Um, let's see. Fix that. There we go. And we're gonna do a bit of a di uh, resin as well. Cause why fuck not? <laughs> you know? I'm gonna be doing it for... Do I want to have you on the team right now? Is it worth it? Is it truly worth it? But fuck it, we'll do it like this. I don't care. Hey, everyone, hold hands. Illusion shattered. Yeah. Solidify. This is order. Hey, Ichi. This the best DPS. Don't even add me, Nahida's best DPS. <laughs> Ooh, I could technically get Child on the team and increase this one up to do the highest tier. I could do that. I won't though. Not now. Hmm. That's decent. That's bad. <laughs> That's really, really bad. This is okay, but I'm not gonna use it. No. Stabilize. Make yourself a When the Nahida just comes and kicks your shit in. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Bad. Enema damage? Well, it defends and... Defense. <laughs> Big rip. Uh, no, yeah, we'll get rid of all of it. Why not? We'll get rid of all the condenser items. Gather. It's not that hard to get through this. Just Nikita's best. You can't even tell me otherwise. And he is best. Jeez, gets through this so fucking well with DPS and everything. It's like, uncompared. There's no contest. Hmm. Ah, uh, sorry, I was looking at something. A friend's having a hard... Oh, that's alright. It's not what I'm looking for. That has potential. It won't be a good one, but it's a decent one. It's okay. It's okay at times. Um, Razor, where are you, my lovely little boy? Yours can be beaten by the new one, actually. 
If you get crit damage, this is godsend. Crit damage. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. Crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage. All crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, crit, crit. Or even attack percent. Even cut attack percent. Do it, do it, do it. Crit, 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 crit. Attack percent, that's good. Crit, 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 crit. Give me crit, give me crit, give me crit, give me crit. Come on, come on. Ooh, crit damage. Yes, 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 yes. Um, crit rate or crit damage would be nice. Crit damage would be really lovely, but crit would also be nice. Either one, do it, please. Crit rate would be really nice, though. I would really like crit rate. Increase my odds. Please? Crit damage! I'll fucking take it! Wow, that's already better. We'll keep a hold of this one, though, for other characters. That's, a, like, that's an upgrade already. A huge upgrade. A little bit more crit rate on my Razor Board. I just need to add more... Statuses. I need to fix things. Get rid of EM. Get those types of artifacts. If it had an ER instead of attack flat, it would have been perfect. But didn't. So, oh well. That's the one problem is it didn't have ER. It was attack flat. ER would have helped me keep my ultimate uptime more for Razor, which would have been fucking huge. But my Razor boy got an upgrade. My poor baby boy got an upgrade. <laughs> HP, elemental mastery, no. HP, elemental mastery is bomb. For this one, we need HP, attack percentage, crit rates, and your recharge. Razor. We need uh, attack percentage, energy recharge, crits. Let's see. God, you gotta love Nahida when she just does a bunch of DPS. Just having her and Raiden in the same team. I need to fix my Raiden. There's a lot of characters I need to fix. My Nahida's not even built. Like, well, she's not strong, but she is, you know? If only that attack flat was HP or crit rate. Uh, we're gonna say this real quick and see what Zhongli's flower is. I think his flower is actually really good. If I remember correctly. Why did I go back? Where is your flower? Um. It's good. It could have done crit damage instead of attack flat. Versus this one that's. Yeah, no. If it was crit damage. Or crit rate. Well, actually. Hmm. Crit rate would have been better on that one. Or HP. Meanwhile, the one I have on, I would have appreciated the crit damage on it. Or energy recharge. My crit damage is bad on that. Or, well, actually, my crit rate is okay. My HP is okay. It doesn't look like I got, like, any da down bad rolls. But, I guess if we do this... We're gonna do something. Where is it? We're gonna s Why am I on the wrong one? I'm stupid. Doi. We're gonna see how well I get this. If it goes into crit damage and energy charge or attack percentage, well, okay. One flat attack so far. If it goes into a flat attack, I'm feeding you to someone else. You already gone too much attack already, too, though. Energy charge. You are not worth saving. Yeah, no. You're not worth saving. You're like... Fucking down bad. <laughs> You're very bad. I... 
had an opportunity, it went out the window. Of course it will. Of course it did. Why would it stay? Why would it be good, you know? Why would I have a good one? Let's get rid of these two. I could use this for Geoculi. I do need more Geoculi. Or not Geoculi, fucking Dendroculus. Dendroculi. Uh, but I don't really want that at the moment. If I were to choose between Zhongli and Razor, I think I'm going to choose Zhongli's artifacts to build over Razor's on the strong box right now. Razor's in like a really good position. Especially with the one I just got, my poor baby boy. Lovely Nahida. <laughs> Best god, no one can tell me otherwise. The Raiden might have the fucking ignore defense situation. But Nahida has the I'm gonna kick your shit in. Oh, that could have been so much better. Oh, motherfucker. This one could have been better on that one, especially if it got crit rate. Mother. God damn it. <laughs> Stabilize. Shine down. Hey. Yeah. The temple of wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Committed to memory. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. When my heat is not even like fully built properly. She's got good stats. No oh, that's the wrong thing. She's got good stats, no doubt. 56 crit rate, 123 crit damage, a decent amount of energy charge, a good amount of elemental mastery. Her dendro damage is 91. She's very good on my situation. But if I show you the artifacts. There's so much flat HP, so much defense in that one, which it could be changed. That could be changed immediately. Um, this one could be changed. Look how much fucking defense and uh, HP are in that. This one could be changed a bit. It could have injury charge in uh, attack percentage. This one can't be changed. This is a fill-in slot, and it's got so much crit damage. It's saved me a good bit. And this one could be changed. I could get EM in that or energy recharge, but it's stable enough at the moment because it's got crit rate up to almost 15%. So these three could definitely be thrown away. But this one's going to be hard to throw away because it's on piece Dendro. That's going to be like hell on earth for me. Um, defense, you're bad. Attack percentage, you're trash, kid. Uh, what do I have in here? Sure. But, yeah, there's a lot of things that could be changed on my account. I'm not in the worst position, but I'm not in where... A position where every character can be played. You know? Just that type of scenario. Do they even have the dentro? They don't have the dentro area yet. So definitely tenacity of Nilla. I don't think anything's worth saving here, so boop. I'm on tenacity of Nilla, right? Yep. Let's get a Zongli, hopefully a good artifact. Defense. Bad. Very bad. Ooh, yikes. Defense. HP. HP. No. No. HP, HP. But the man? That has potential. That has potential. This one does not. This one does not strike joy, but yet it could be a filler for someone on defense. 
This is not Shrike Joy. This is not Shrike Joy. Uh, no, we're not gonna use that one. Uh, yep. Bad. Bad. Ooh. You hate to see it. If you had Cray or Taku Sense that the end there, I would have been happy to take you. Ew. Potential. If I get crit rate, that's huge. If I get crit rate, that's huge. That's that that's gonna be huge. EM. No, that well, that could be an off piece for someone. It's got flat defense, which is bad, but that's that's cope right there. For someone else, could EM stab. Um. Now let's see. Which ones were the ones I couldn't replace on you? Uh, it was flower, right? If this kid's crit rate, this would be better. I do not have enough artifacts. Defense, okay, you're already bad. Get out of here, kid. This one. This... Oh, this is my... Wait, is that my off? Wait, no. Wait, no, that, yeah, that's my off piece. What the fuck? Okay, hold up. We're gonna lock this in, because it's good. But we have a higher potential. What are you gonna give me? Wow, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We have huge potential here. If it goes in all the crit rates, or even HP percentage, I'm down. Crits. Yes, crits. Just show me the crits. Oh my god, yes, show me the crits. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Is it cope though? Um... It, it's a bit of a downgrade? But hear me out. Here's where the benefit comes in. I could switch this one out and have a different one as an off piece for the future. Because it's actually pretty decent. It's not bad. It's not good. It's decent. So I could definitely like switch this fucker out in the future. Like say... Do we have any geo damage? Because I don't want HP, I want geo damage for him. I want him to be a hybrid tank for me. Why did I, did I scroll past him like an idiot? Yeah, I did. Um, Geo damage, that's all defense, that's not really good. Uh, that's not actually that bad, what the fuck? That one's actually not that bad. Is this DJ damage? That's defense. We don't want defense. As long as we don't get defense? Hold on, that's actually fucking cooking a bit. This one is not. That's electro damage. Wait, hold on, that's a decent electro damage. Oh no, it's gone mostly in it on the best of mastery. I think that's for Sino. That's probably gonna be for Sino. Maybe? Question mark. But, uh, we're gonna cope here real hard, real quick. Where is that 20 piece I could get rid of? I could definitely get rid of you. I think that went into three times on flat HP. Oh, you hate to see it. But it's a it's a benefit from that. Ah, uh, shit. I need more crit damage, that's for sure. I could get a better crit rate helmet. Now in the future as well. Let's see if I could cope harder. Let's see if I could screw myself. Um, Geo 
I chose banjo damage. Whoops. What the fuck? Um. Geo, where's okay? Geo. Um, where's the other one? I don't want to do you. You. Wait, you landed on flat defense. Yeah, no, you're not good. You're not good. You're not good. Yeah, no, this is my best and slot for him at the moment. Shit. Alright. Mm, that could be fixed. I need more crit damage. This one's good. It could be replaced, but it's good. Like I said, crit rates there. I need to get crit. You need to be replaced. This one needs to be replaced. And you need to be replaced. I, if I get a helmet for crit damage on this one, that'd be nice. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna spend some time uh, building Zhongli. We're gonna do at least a good few domains. You know? We'll do that. <clears throat> That won't be too bad, right? I, I won't be screwing myself too much. Right? And then I think I'm probably going to do a bit of I, and then I'm going to do a bit of Nahida. I think those will be my three that I want to build in this stream. Why did I do that? I, I should have... Right, that's not Chi Chi anymore. That's Bennett. Also, I did do a lot of up grind for me. Well, I did a bit of streaming. Luke's going stupid. Luke's going stupid. This is Coke. Flower. Flower, 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 flower. Right, your flower is actually decent. It's not worse, but it's decent. Which one did I say for you? If this gets crit rate. Right? This got this has to get crit rate right in order for it to be potential. Okay. If I get another physical character, that might be my filler for her. AKA Yula or Rosaria. Stabilize. Shine down. Hit. Kill me now. Yes. Yes. Come in to memory. Why did I do that? It's a shame I got a little bit damaged. Did I lose HP though? Yeah, I did lose a bit of HP for Zhongli. If I get a better headpiece, that would probably do make or break everything for him. Bad. I need... Actually, Rosaria would probably do better on the other artifact set, wouldn't she? She wouldn't do well with pay f Pale Flame. Why do I keep doing that for you? I need to put the pillar in front of me. So I get the extra damage bonus. Yeah, okay, you- I see what's going on. They're not switching to their second phase, so I'm doing a little bit more hurdy on my end. And that's not too bad. You see, that could have been better on the other set. But oh well. We'll do... 
probably two more in and outs. I think two more ins and outs would be nice. I could be... Well, technically, I could be using these for talents. To get characters up to their max talents. But I would rather use them on artifacts. Talents are guaranteed, which is stupid of me. But the artifact... I'm doing the wrong one. Let's not do that. But the talents are guaranteed. I should be doing talents more so I can like have an all around stat boost increase no matter how bad the artifacts are. But I'm just not in the mood to do that. If I get... Mm, okay, actually, let's do us a, a, a favor real quick. We're gonna switch to something real quick. Wait, why did I do that? That's not the right thing. Uh, artifact. Let's remove... How much crit rate would I have? 38. Not bad. I don't exactly need a crit rate helmet. I could crit damage and it has crit rate on the upstand. That would be more beneficial. Hmm. Ew. <laughs> That's bad. That's really bad. If I had my Dendro Archon a bit built better, if Nihilo's bit better built, she would definitely be destroying them a lot quicker. Which makes me so happy to think about. But that'll be time. That'll take a lot of time. And I don't think I have the capability of getting lucky. We got lucky with Razor today alone. I think that's all my luck I've used for today. Yeah, that might have been all my luck today is Razor getting a stat increase. Because holy shit, that was really good for him. I'm very happy for my Razor Boy to get that. Razor's still good. People can say what they want. Razor carries this so fucking hard with his stat and decreases and increases and all that. You just gotta build him well. And you're good to go. Like, 62, 109, that's not the best. My main cope right now is this needs to get gone. This is okay. Oh, fucking. It's okay. It's crit damage is high. It's crit rate's high. It's got a lot of defense. If it was on attack, or let's say if I had energy recharge, that would have had me 100% uptime on her, her, on her ultimate. Yes, on his ultimate. And that would have been huge. 100% all time on his ultimate. Just constantly getting that damage boost. Huge. Um. We already know that was a, like, big bonus already on that part. Um, this could be better. It's got crit damage, attack, it's okay by that standard. If it had an energy recharge, that'd just be perfect for him. This? Yeah, no, this is what I need for him. This is good. It's got good crit rate on it. Decent crit damage. So we're mainly looking at this piece being replaced with 
and getting crit damage on it. This piece would also be nice if it had more crit damage or crit rate. Get rid of that defense. Or even if it was in a, from defense into the attack. That would have been better. This is good. If energy of charge is there, it would be the best in slot. But it's not. But it's still good. Yeah, it's pretty much this one. This We need to get either a crit rate one or a crit damage one. And a replacement on this. And then we're good for Razor. So that's not too bad. That's really not too bad. Razor's like stacked a bit for their situation. Which I'm very much happy about. Uh, Alright, he's back there. And then after we're gonna do this, we're gonna go, like, lurk them up into nothing. And we're gonna see if we can get at least another jungle piece to build him up more. Because I could definitely use a different piece to increase his stats. If I don't, it's not the it's not the end of the world. I already got a razor piece and I got a bit of a better jungling piece. But it would be in my interest if I did. Do, 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 do. I also kind of want to build up all my pyro characters again. Diluc, Hu Tao, and uh, Kali are in the bottom of the barrel. I don't think I'll ever touch them. And I wanted fucking Diluc for the longest time. It's mainly because I built them poorly. <laughs> Fuck. Y E M, sweetheart. No. Could have been attack percent. Could have been energy recharge. Why? <laughs> oh, that's sad. Oh, shit. Like in 27k damage. And I don't have her built to the best capability either. And he does OP. I wish I had her at C6, I'll be honest. I wish. But I'm not that lucky. I, with her last banner, I was trying to get her. But I ended up getting catching instead. Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy to get catching. Uh, but I wish I got Bea. Or... Um, technically, the one I was going for, Nihita. Because I want her to be my first C6. Dea was nice to have. I don't have her weapon. Which is a shame. I don't have... Catching's weapon. I grabbed a substitute. But having uh having Nahida's constellation would have been the best option. That's cope right there. Okay. It's HP, which is not good. Let's go to Razor real quick. Cause I know you're no, yours is not the best, right? This is the one that can replace you if it gets crit rate. Will you get crit rate? Or will you do me? Crit? Bah. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Out of here. Trash. Cry about it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well. Shangli, you have more tenacity pieces coming for you. Bad. Bad. 
bad, bad, bad. Energy recharge, that's not bad, but it's not the one I need. So, no. No, okay, well, that was a good, at least, attempt. We got a bit of a bit the razor. We should be doing this. I think I'm going to do this before it goes away. Will I... Why she... Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to go through the strain right here? I could get 150 primos. But I think I... Usually when I do this, I get only 100. Not 150. Uh... This floor will be normal. Okay, so rune serp rune serpent. Of course, rune serpent. Um Okay, with that being shown, I think my best option is doing the heat on the top row with her team. That I do for her. And then bottom half is gonna be. I could do Raiden Shogun, but we're gonna try this because this is not the worst. Now let's just hope um, we don't get screwed over. Elemental Mastery or HP. One team doesn't benefit from Elemental Mastery. But one team doesn't really... Well, I think technically two teams benefit from HP. But that's on the healing aspect. Or a shield. Hmm. Normally for shield. And this team for healing. Um... But down at the last would help clear faster. Okay, nothing in behind me. Let me read you a Oh shit. Oh shit. I could definitely build Shing Chun better. Like, they're not built the best. too bad but it could have been better here's the one that scares me Stabilize. All hail. because this guy is a bitch and the fact that they brought him back is so stupid This is why I don't like you. Like, you're so annoying. Oh. 
Out of every boss, this one is the worst one in the world for me. I hate it. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. It goes underground half the fucking time. Solidify. Hi. Yep. Of course, you have to bring this thing back. Oh, come on. Like, fuck me, dude. You're so annoying. I should have just gone, gone you first. Stabilize. She does so much better. Of ice and frost. I might switch this out for gone you and I. Their razor and I, uh, gone you. Because no at least then, like, what the fuck? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. No, fuck you. Really? That- okay, that did. I hate that fucking thing. If I do I and gun you, I could probably- I could probably get that done quickly. Elemental burst or HP? Honestly, this is just sounding like Kutal now. Your Fine. journey ends Some target here, Lord of Sabbath. Your sacrifice is ready. Witness the power. Good one. No, you don't yeah. die. Yeah. I'm gonna do this first. So I could do this. She's like on her last leg, so I need to get enough health within a short amount of time. Like this. What? For the trouble. Burning, I... When did she get burned? The fuck? No, that's not her overheights. Where do you think oh. you're going? Okay, got her a bit more health. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, got you. If I just had... Another constellation. I probably would have done that a lot faster. This is. Oh, it's you. Over. Nice. I hope I didn't get the fucking hit. Access 
I'm sorry, what? I'm not doing enough damage because I don't have eye. Instead, I'm literally wasting because of Razor. Stabilize. It's supposed to be Ganya as a sub DPS and not Razor. Definitely only gonna get a hundred from this. Especially when things like this is boss every other turn. And not big enemies, but bosses. Oh, you motherfucker. Especially when they're always underground. Why do you choose to do bosses underground? Bosses underground is not a good mechanic. Change my mind. In the air, at least I could hit them still. Underground? It's just stupid. Yeah, I could have done someone else, not Razor. Because I didn't realize what I was putting myself into. On the fucking, like, my stupidity level, not what was there. I could have had I help gone you out a lot. Motherfucker. No, we try. I didn't even hit them. No, you're not getting away. Okay, what's next? Two more. Ooh, shit. Okay, you're pretty much dead. And you're next. It's you. Yeah, I would have been better. I don't know what I was thinking. I totally forgot you're the final one. Fuck. We.
Can you not back up? Like, jeez, that's so annoying. I don't know, can I throw out your wings? I can. That's actually huge, no? Really? You being there destroyed that? Can I not? There we go. Stabilize. Orders given. Orders received. Rise. No, you're on the ground right now. Right, resistance increased. Son of a bitch. I will have order. Access denied. Last yeah. elemental bonus Solidified. or resistance. Razor can withstand this more than Ganyu. Because Ganyu's glass can. There we go. Like I said, I was only going to get a hundred. I wasn't lying. <laughs> but I'll take that hundred. I'll take it. Um... I'll grab it for someone else if I ever need someone down the line, but it's going to be a filler for now. For that person. It won't be useful at all. Boy, the exhaustion's kicking in though. Like, um, I was having like a total shit show of allergies. And I was just constantly sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. Well, it looks like it was pointless. Also, let me just season it real quick. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, transform it back. There we go. Because apparently if my thing's up there, it's gonna be also down there. I don't give a fuck then. Um, what was this? Oh, getting it with its wings. Okay. Okay. We got that part. I did a little... Thing looking at. This is where I want to be. So, we're gonna go do the, that story quest. Because I want to get this area done. Okay, never mind. Bada boom. Huh. We haven't seen the whirlpool from the sun yet. What should we do next? How about giving that adeptal energy of yours a try, Luke? Um, on what part? Up there. Ooh. What the fuck is you? Jump into the whirlpool? What? <laughs> okay, I jump into whirlpool. Because I'm smart. 
Oh, there's a whole area down here. Yo, why am I hungry? <laughs> I ate earlier and it's like, no, you hunger. Was this a way to trick me? You're trapped in here with me. I'm not trapped in here with you. Okay, that's a bit too loud. I thought I would put it on for sound effects, but apparently that was a bad idea. That's a bit too loud for my liking. Nice. If only we had Geo, uh, tr a Geo tree to work with. Like how we do with for Sumeru and Azuma and the Fontaine. Or Fountain of Fontaine. But we don't. Because like? all these Geo sigils are just pointless now. They mean, they have no meaning at all. Like none. In my opinion. What? Do I need Mora? Something that could be gotten from almost everything you do? Whether it be story, exploration, ley lines, using actual like money to get it through battle passes and stuff. There's literally no reason to focus on it. Look, in Paimon, we meet again. And who might this be? Huh? Have you haven't met before? This little mount. He's helped us so much along the way. No, we haven't met before, but you must be a good child, little Mal. Hello, and yes, that's me. Miss, are you an adeptus? You are, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks for all the help you've given Luke and Paimon, little Mal. Live the legend of Pujin in the flesh. I can't believe this. I've heard so many stories about you, and now I know that you're not some big slippery carp, but a lady instead like big sister. Big carp. I'll say, what kind of stories have you been listening to, little Mal? <laughs> One is indeed a dentist, and as such can take- Okay, well, I need fucking- Because they don't have voice acting, they just let you skip through. Hmm, from what you said, you have a very unique scent, little Mal. Have you met someone in the mountains before? Someone with golden eyes and a fair complex complexion, perhaps? Uh, not exactly. Big Sis Fujin? You're not talking about one of your other friends, are you? My trans- my friend- my trans friend. My- I was gonna say transformation. Whoops. And then I went trans friend. Okay. Fucking idiot, Luke. My friend from the Mullins doesn't sparkle like you do. But she's also really cool. She's helped me tons and taught me loads. So it was her after all. So y your friend wasn't Adeptus Fujin after all, huh? But six, Big Sis Fujin's my friend too. My friend too now, isn't she? Of course, Lil Mao. I'm delighted to have made friends with you. Lil Mao's met other Jeptai? Uh, fucking this is the way. Uh, let's put you a little bit more to the left. That wouldn't be too bad. As for whether a, Lil Mao's friend Counts as Adeptus or not? I'm not quite sure myself. After all, Adeptus is merely a, a title. It's hard to say whether Adepti are even people. The word Adeptus is just like any other word, as such as hero, villain, or idiot. No one is born an Adeptus, and no one shall remain an So similar to Archons. They're not born as Archons, but they could take that role. That's fucking interesting. That's true, so you met- wait, apparently we know that. That's true, so you met a friend of Lil Mal that's- we were talking about, right? Indeed, but it's been a long, long time since I last saw her. So now I expect that I don't know her half as well as Lil Mal does. I'm not even sure if I still count as her friend. According to what Lil Mal said, his friend wants to restore nature. I would imagine so. Anyway, I must ask you all to please take care. Please take this piece of votive rain jade. I had originally hoped it would remain here, the same as it ever was, but I never expected it to grow quite so large. <sighs> I used to love it so. This rain jade that you mentioned, did it rain down or make it rain or something? <laughs> 
Of course not. After the jade changes in geo our geology, our the ancestors, the people of Chen Yu, Val lost their ability to communicate with the heavens and lost the guidance of the emissaries, who beauty was pure as moonlight. Henceforth, they began to take jade, which glowed as gently as the light of the moon, and cast it to the river as they did. They would pray for good omens, for fertile lands, or clement weather, and for their river banks to hold strong. Other times, over time, these rituals grew in power until one day, one day. Big Fujin, what happened next? One day, the world war who became to become the gods, who would reign over this world, began. Afterward, this tradition lost all of its meaning, but though it is forgotten, its name is still passed down over generations. To cut a long story short, this piece of vaulted rain jade before us was the very last one ever to be thrown. Just as the part above the surface, one commanded by an adept of art, can be made large enough to stop a flood, its core too has been swollen by a controlled adeptal energy. Much to, to its power has dissipated into the surrounding area throughout, through the spirit veins. This power may also have affected the nearby flora and fauna, attacking and even making operations of them. You must be careful. What? As far as I can tell, the depth of energy has been dissipated nearby should be sufficient to rewaken the hibernating fault of ranger. If this is the case, we're one step closer to achieving our goal of nursing the water and soil back to hell. <laughs> However, how should I say this? Luke and Paimon, thank you both. You did an amazing thing by choosing to help me. You know, little, you know. And little Mal, will you help me too? Will you help me out? Will you help out your big sis? This is getting weird. Of course, I want to restore nature too. I know it's not getting weird, but I like to make fun of it. Is that so? Well, that's good. You're very smart, little Mal. You'll understand everything later. All right, then. Let us go our separate ways for now. Once you achieve the depth of energy filled, the depth of energy filled, while the rain jade will meet again by a deep pool shrouded in cloud and mist to the south. The south. Got it. Eh? She's gone and disappeared again. Oh, well. Let's just do what Big Sis Fujin said and restore this Vaudin Ranger power. Speaking of which, what's it got to do with Vaudin? DC, you know how much brighter than Paimon? It's Votive. Oh, right. It's so complicated. Though, since you mentioned it, what does Votive even mean? And why is it called Ranger again? Exactly, what does it mean? <laughs> Oh, poor little two beans. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little this. This. Bye. Um, shoo. Bye bye. If only my knee here was better. I might just waste a bunch of fucking resin just to build Nihita to the best capability. I'm thinking about it. I'm definitely thinking about it. I just don't know if it would matter, you know? It probably won't. But I'm gonna hope a little bit. Solidify. 
Illusion shattered. Everyone hold hands. You're burning, poor thing. You're free, little one. I thought you got stuck on that for a second. I was about to cry. Hmm. Two, three. Come on. We're all gonna hang out together. We got this. Well, you all found your home. Congratulations for being home. One man's stone is another man's gem. Oops, wait, that's the right one. Fire, I think. Fuck, I have fire. to see if there's anything on this side. Nice little calming music though. Stabilize. Shine down. Actually, let's do down. that. We're gonna mess with settings. I just realized what I could have done and not mess with all the audio. Right. I could have done that. Um, oh, that's not what I want. We'll put it at five. Do we just go in a circle? Yes. At least I know that one path was not the wrong path. Like, it wouldn't let me just down one way and I had to go all the way back the same way. It let me come back around. So that's really useful. Clearly something I'm missing. Did I just go down the same way? What? How much summons do I have? I'm actually curious. Enough for one. I don't have much. Whoops. <sighs> We're looking for the last one. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, I'm gonna run around like a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm gonna run around like a fucking idiot. Hmm. 
Maybe you. Oh, you're someone. You're. St I had something I had to chase, apparently. So you were here, I just had to chase you. Get owned, idiots. Big fight? Oh shit! Okay. This is why I need to build my jungle a bit better. That's why I need to get more HP. And I could get rid of this. It's not the worst thing. I still need to get rid of this. Could get definitely need to get rid of that. That needs to have more HP on it. If I keep grinding for this, this could get crit damage in the future. I would like, I would like the other ones more, but also still give me, like I think I go for both crits. Attack percentage is a fill in for HP, HP and energy recharge. But if I don't get energy recharge, attack percentage would be better. But I want HP. Okay. It's moving. The Volta Ranger looks so different now. It looks kind of awesome. Okay. Huh, seems like the Jade's starting to move. That's right, but according to the story, the riverbed should have lots of other votive range aids. Why does Big Sis Virgin only want this one? Look, it's shining, almost as if the, it's resonating with the adeptal energy on you, Lou. Why don't you try using that power, eh? <laughs> um... I, I looked away for a second. I forgot it's on autoplay. That should do it. Wow, awesome. It suddenly became small. Yeah, I even didn't think it just changed size like that. Guess it's a millennia old treasure for you. Yeah, well, it looks like the vault of range in our hands now, so you're so, rel <laughs> you're so reliable. Hey, Paimon works hard too. Miss Paimon's amazing. So you're going to take us to that deep pool shrouded in cloud and mist to the south now, right? Clouds and mist. Hmm. I think Chen Yu Val really doesn't have... Really does have places like that. But where? Tell us, little guide. And probably won't take you there. Do you remember the place Mountains mentioned? The spot where we met? That place is super foggy. I know it's of a secret cave room that leads there. Even the other locals don't know about it. It was my friend who showed me the way, and since you're my friend too, Paimon, I'll tell you all about it. You got an amazing friend, little Mal. <laughs> of course. Uh, well, you're both pretty amazing, pretty impressive too. Well, any friend of yours is a friend of ours too. In fact, Paimon hopes we'll meet her on the way. Shall we go? Paimon's gonna take. Shall we go? Paimon's gonna take you on to the. Place you mentioned, though, now. Take us away, Paimon. Alrighty, then. Let's go. It's just instant teleport. Jesus. Sorry about that. 
Luke Paimon. <laughs> now look out behind you. Wait, your friend, you say? You didn't say that, but... That's right, I told you before that I had a lot of friends, didn't I? Well, I just happened to meet her. So I got a hold of her. To introduce to you. Um, well, hello? I'm Luke, and this is Paimon. No. Well, you don't say your fir you first. God, that's beautiful. What if it got a character variant? Um, she's afraid of strangers. I usually call her Bluey, but I don't really know her name. Oh, don't you worry about that. Luke and Paimon are great people. They've been accompanying me on the, my adventures. They're real experts in the mountains and forests, too. I know. I see. I'll tell you this one thing. Where did you gain the power to suppress nature? Suppress nature? What do you mean? Plants pursue the sunlight in fertile, uh, fertile soil. Crane fruit fit for the birds and beasts to consume. The digested seeds are scattered, and those which consume seed and fruit and bait for predators, thus everything returns to the land. The snake hidden in the branches, the fish in the mountains, and the beasts of the forest. Traveling the realm of nature is wonderful, so why have you come? Oh, come on, Blue, you don't have to be so fierce. You raised two questions. Our goal is to nurse the soil of the wa and water of Chen Yu Vat Vale. And the adeptal energy we use comes from Adeptus Fujin. Exactly, so some something's off about Chen Yu Vale's natural conditions. So Adeptus Fujin's enlisted our help. If we don't, well, the tea leaves and Xiaoyang? Xiaoyang? Or Xiaoying. Why are you saying Yan? Xiaoying village are going to turn out worse and worse. The village itself might decline. That's why she wanted us to perform the Rain Jade Rite, which will restore the area. The Rain Jade Rite, I see. You have answered two of my questions, you may ask me to also. Huh? Why do we have to do that? Give and take. It is only natural. You have one more question. <laughs> oh no, the quibble exchange. God damn it, Paimon, I'm gonna fucking hit you. Wait, that's one counted? No, sh You just can't- you just asked another question. I'm gonna ask if you- I'm you wanting to restore nature. Is that the same as nursing the water and soil? No. Not the same. Eh? It isn't. Luke, what were you talking about? That's right, what do you mean, not the same? The tea new tea leaves taste better. More like before. Eh? More like... Wow, and just like that, she's gone! Don't worry about it, Paimon. She's like that. Sometimes when I'm not looking, she'll just vanish into the shadow of the trees. Then at others, the sun might dazzle me, or the birds might call overhead, and there she is. In any case, we're all, guess we're all friends now. Nice. Yeah, your friend's pretty strange, little now. Is she? Well, for all you know, you're the one who might be seem strange to others. I mean, not only can you use a depth energy to make monsters appear, they can make the golden stone things appear and vanish, even turn into a carp and fly around, like in stories. You got a point. <laughs> you got a major point there. That said, Paimon couldn't have imagined that the friend you always spoke about was, well, a monster seems a bit rude. The thing might be pretty offensive. That's right. Your friend's so blue. No wonder why you call her blue. <laughs> That's why you never told anyone. If the adults knew we were friends, they might lock me up. Wait, really? You are go to the actual prison? No, 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 not like that. They just won't let me go out. Maybe wash my face and force me to read my books. I won't get to play in the mountains anymore. <laughs> That's why I never told anyone. And, but you're my friend, so it's fine anyway. Anyway, come with me. This is an awesome place I'd love to show you. God, 
god, I'm so fucking hungry. Ay. Ay, why must I be hungry? Why must you torture me so? I can do so much more without the fucking hunger. But then I'm also very weary and exhausted because I took allergy medication. So I'm going to be out of it very much this entire stream or for the most part. Um... Oh. Nice. You're awesome, Luke. You push moss. You push the moss back just like that. Like you did with the smoky clown. Still, that wasn't there yesterday. Is that what they call nature? Don't worry about it. Moss or Hilly Chills, just leave them all to Luke. Lomao, what's the picture around? Originally, I don't didn't know either, but I figured it out today after hearing Big Sis Fusion story. This must be the stuff that happened before the mural on the Min Ming Men was made. See? This is long, long ago. People were able to talk to the gods and the die in the skies by talking to that big piece of jade in the middle. The emissary of the gods would lead them and protect them. See? That's gotta be this shiny gold person standing in the middle. I bet that was a super amazing person. But later, like just like Big True Sis Big Sis Fujin said something changed and the people of the Chen Yu Vale Chen Yu Vale lost their guiding emissary. And they didn't talk to the heavens any longer. That's how the Rain Jade Rite came about. Huh. Your story does make sense. <laughs> Thanks. What do you think, Blue? That's a distinct possibility. Come to think of it, our sensors were pretty amazing themselves, huh? The jades they left to us still have the power to restore nature. For something this old to still be this so strong, that past, the past must have been sweller than the present time, huh? That's not true. The world marches forward, leaving the accumulated vitreous of the past in its wake. Huh. That's a really cool thought. I never thought about it that way. <laughs> Paimon thinks that you're an amazing one, Lil Mel. We've never seen lots of ancient objects, puzzles, mysterious powers, and monsters in our time. But Paimon's never considered this stuff before. Or we have. <laughs> oh, you, you know what? Not thinking about this stuff at all is pretty awesome too. Really, I bet you all be liking Big Sister. You'll all just be like big sister when you grow up. Just having fun adventuring everywhere. Oh, you have a big sister then? Well, we're not blood breed, but she worked here in Shinyu Vale for a while. She'd go up the mountains and run around the rivers, and I'd follow her. We discovered this little cave together. She said that the cave in my Rubicon? She said this cave, that this cave is my Rubicon. I know what that means. I wonder where she's off adventuring nowadays. I can't wait to receive my next letter from her. She's dead. Yeah, this big sister of yours seems. Sir, she seems like she's an interesting person. She's dead. I know, right? Still, big sis Fuji needs our help, so let's continue on. She's dead. Oh, there. There you all were. Ah, uh, I'm so worried. Wow, golden carp. <laughs> I was quite concerned about the swelling my asthmas, fierce boss beasts that roam that might cause might have caused you ill. The ones who sat is not so, and that is good. 
Thanks to the depth energy you possess, Luke, Juan has been connected to Golden Carp here and gaining the means to speak with you directly. Luke, Paimon, Lomel, please come with me. Um, uh, I'm climbing stuff. You let me walk on this. Nice. I'm not going to bother reading that stuff because it goes by too fast. There is no escape. Everyone hold hands. Yeah, yeah. outside. Are you gonna get rid of this? This? Oh, this is interesting. We might be able to put stuff here. Much time has passed since I last emerged here. This was once a lively place, filled with the aroma, aroma of incense. Then the three of us could travel freely across the mountains and rivers. Yes, those days were like flowing water beneath the moon. Dark, yet sparkling, oh so brightly. Um, but not for a minute, soon. Thanks to you all, I'm now able to return here and host the Rain Jade Ride. Eh, so you're the person- you're that person in the mural? Oh, I get it now, the person standing on the mountain hugging that egg. That was you, wasn't it? And- Ah, uh, an egg? Come down, Lamel. That was the precious jade. Casting rain jade is a ritual of great power. The water of rain jade can calm rivers, improve the weather. They can also be the thing of death and slaughter. Only the tiniest, thinnest line separate curses and the depth of energies that have aided you up till now. That is why I must. That is why I must make sure that the right does not fall into the hands of those who do ill. That's why, <laughs> yes, this that is the correct one was indeed the figure who hugged that egg in the mural. Huh, big sis, Sujin, does that make you pretty, uh, ancient? Yes, it does. Still, I do like the name, big sis. It does quite make me feel young. Well, certainly. Though, even if other titles such as such I am wear, that I am hardly the equal of the true depth I like nothing cheaper in the rest. I am, in truth, the weakest of the band of my friend, of my band of friends. I cannot make medicines to save others, nor can I bound across the mountains and plains. Even so, I could not simply lay the title down. It would have done the people of Shenyu, Shenyu Vale. Why am I fucking up? I'm getting so out of it. Shen Yu Vale, the surface, I fear. Still, you may call me whatever you wish. After all, we have become friends or so, I would say. In any case, my days of being called in Deptis are now consigned to history. Just like this place has been. Once the Ranger Rite was a day of great celebration, where we would commemorate the year of abundance, using laughter, firecracker battles, and beast dances to frame the ill omens away. This must appear like naught, but forgotten ruins to the modern mind. Well, not completely forgotten. That's right, people in the Xiao Xiaoxing Xiaoxing Xiaoying Xiaoying village told us that it was mighty Deathless Fujin who defeated the demons, planted the first tea tree back on the bamboo raft. Grandpa Lu also mentioned that the offerings of tea were to a certain carp adeptus. That wasn't there. And wasn't there the opera swung 
sung by Elon War about the carp going around killing stuff. <laughs> you're so awesome in the stories, Big Sis Fushin. Also, people still do the wushu dance, you know. You said yourself the definition of definitions. Also, putting definition aside, you're a friend, Fujin. We shouldn't be constantly fretting about the right and stuff. You should have lived happily and were companions on the adventure. That's right, we're on an adventure together. Right, yes. You're right. Thank you. That was well said. Indeed. I was the one who asked you all for help. It wouldn't do at all if I just continued wallowing in the past now, would it? In my case, I need your help to prefer the right self. In any case, have you encountered any sacred simulacrum? Simulacra. In your adventure, those were ritual spirits often used by people in ancient times to protect their homes. There should be some nearby. Luke, Paimon, Lomao, please help me put the Salamakra in their power, the proper places. That way we can restore their spirit veins using the rain jade. Right. I, I will have faith in you. I... I don't know what that was. Okay, this is water ground. stone carving. Use the depth of energy granted by Fujin to move these heavy looking stones. Okay, that makes some nice things nearby to get that one. There's gotta be something here that gets it. Oh. Guess we're going up. <laughs> Not bad. If they'll stay there, that'd be nice little, like, detail. Oh, I ran away. What am I doing? I'm so out of it, no. So <sighs> much talking though, that's for sure. The sacred simulacra are all nearby. Thank you, Bull. The votive, the votive, votive, rain jade has been returned to the priest. The statues have come back to their rightful places. The rain jade rite is now ready to perform. But will Shenyu Vale really recover once you cast the rain jade in? That's right. Things will go better, get better for us, Lomao. Nature, jade, humans, all is divinely dictated. The changes in the land of the water in the land and water, in Shenyu Vale, the malicious fog in the spirit veins, they are all essentially a sign of the earth moving against the flow of time. Huh, yeah. That means my, so the miasma-like thing is a manif 
manifestation, manifestation, my van, of an environmental disorder. <laughs> That's right. If you think of the Shenyu Vale's attempt to, how to put it, return to nature, and that we intend to do here is to treat the land and soil and rid it of a sickness, return to nature. After all, before humans left their caves and mountains to dominate the world and regulate nature, be and before Chinyu Vale or Bishui River, we got those names. The land, mountains, and rivers had their own order. <laughs> Even I sometimes miss the cool mountain streams and the great rivers that would ebb and flow with the seasons. I mean, I was once a mere fish that swam. But if we let nature seize control of its order once more, the people of the Shenyu Vale will suffer and languish. I hope you can understand. Yeah. In, in that case. Huh? Did it work? The thing in the fog just now? Seems I am too feeble in my current state. And we got the Vault of Range Aid and we placed the Simulacra. Or simu simula yeah, Simulacra. But it still wasn't enough? I'm very sorry. It is not your fault. We need more power to overcome this trial. It says the depth of energy in the Volta Ranger has dissipated into the spirit veins, so has my power also left me across the long years. Huh? <laughs> will you really grow? Will you grow really big just like the Jade? Probably not. <laughs> just think about it, though. Super Dept is Fujin. Fujin now three times the size. Well, is there any way we can destroy or can destroy? We can restore the power, the Golden Car. Ah, Luke, you are wise indeed. Before you found a few golden carp, I cannot muster the strength to appear initially. I thought that we were needed. We just needed to gather all the ritual plants, and that that would make up for the deficiency in my power. That's not the case. From what it looks like, <laughs> I was not entirely open with you before, and neither the present nor past. Me was anywhere near a match for the dip die of the self. I feared you would consider me weak and unworthy of your help. Gee, is that it? Paimon thought you have something more important to say. It? There's no way you'd abandon or make friends with you just because of that? Yeah, if you're just doing that for just for any purposes or so, you could fuck off. On the other hand, the whole young master bit, Paimon wanted to say the same thing. My friend told me lots of stories about you. In my mind, even though we just met, we were already friends. And I also want you to be happy, big sis. Alright, alright, thank you all. Well, that's more like it. So we should start looking for these golden carp. I believe that you have to go to Yad Yadai Valley. These will be filled with- there will be a cavern there with the golden carp hidden within. Hmm. Not seeing where this would be. It's in there. Stabilized. 
Bye bye. Order I'm sorry, you're dying. I fell. And I drowned because I'm fucking Ida. Uh, damn it. Small person problems. See, I wouldn't mind having C6 only either. I don't really care for C6 uh, Raiden. I want C6 Zhongli. I want C6 Nihita. I want... Solidify. Um... Shine down. Technically speaking, who else if I start do I want C6? I'm doing alright on catching. Catching C4. That's because of a lot of luck. Um, losing 50-50s. But I did get her C2 within the game's release. Because I got really lucky. Mm. Something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. Will this be too far? Nope. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Why? Okay. That was weird. It wouldn't let me look at that until I stayed still completely in front of it and nothing else. Oh, I have it on autoplay. Fuck. <laughs> no, no. After leaving Carp's rest. Okay, fuck's sake. Autoplay, right? Uh, wait a minute, didn't the gap in the middle of the mural originally have something that went into the golden carp mural in it? Me- what? yeah. I'm not sure in truth, this is my first time seeing the mural as well. Huh? I'm sure you'll have the battles that took place in the class. Gonorrhea. Hmm? Sorry, I'm merely a minor adeptus of Chen Yu Veil. I fear I know little, a little about any wars concerning of Gonorrhea. Dark on wall? Yes. The cave was one of the shelters we built for the inhabitants of Shenyu Vale. Such that the innocents caught in this crossfire when the floods overturned the heavens and split the earth could okay. I'm fucking getting out of it a bit. Hmm. I didn't expect that they draw a mural here. Though I believe the ones depicted 
Hibimi, I mean the big slippery carp, Lil Mal mentioned, and a friend. And that's the case, why did the most important part get taken somewhere else? Not true, why is that? Perhaps dissatisfaction. Three of us were once great friends. Two of us becoming worshipped as Netad and one of us was always a mountain's master. Later, the Herbalord, Orblord and I defected together. And she most certainly died too, or perhaps the one amongst us who fought the last never submitted and only heard news of us afterwards. Perhaps to her, we're all traitors, with the depiction of myself and the herb lord turned an object for her to vent her anger, her fury against. Well, is that really the case? The pain outside looks like. Who knows? Aye, in any case, that's all in the past. So please, let me your strength and nursing Shinyu veil back to hell. I can feel that there's not a golden carp lingering where I used to. And our, near Mount Jianlan, I believe. There's another. If we get that one, that should be enough strength to perform the ritual. Second so that, I must apologize for being unable to control the golden carp, even with you nearby. I know they might have given you some trouble, swimming through the air like that. It's fine, I think of them like feelies. But really, where's the golden carp that should be here? <laughs> well, inside the painting. Just in the your dental energy to wake it. Okay. I'm sorry, did I get kicked out just now? Oh, it's in that one. Can you lock down here? Wait a second, I think I know what I can do. Gain some stamina back. 253, not bad. For just doing mostly daily or daily stuff today. No? That is not the way? Hmm. I'm just curious real quick, where can I put that? To get in there. Um, I put it there, but that doesn't do anything. I'm not gonna know for now. Whatever. I grab you? Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Why they do that?
that one. Got a few chests in this area. Not too bad. Stabilize. This is clearly interesting. Jesus. That was fucking something. Use the Thepta energy granted by Fusion to freely move the jade hairpin she left behind. Move the jade hairpin to insert it into the right place. Right, we got it. Find anything you like? Boy, yay, yay. The bandage is starting to really kick my ass right now, I'll be honest. Why am I not loading up? Okay, there we go. Unsolicited, and all the more valuable for it. Activate, please. I see you. Oops. Back. There you go. Huh, there's a pavilion here on this mountain. It's rather adept eye style. Huh. Paimon wonders where we'll, we'll find that golden carp. The place is kind of huge. Maybe we can do what we did last time, you know? Luke 
The bit where you used the depth of energy on the mural, the carp turned out to be hiding inside. Look. Look. Or look, Luke. There's four stone cars and statues here. Do you think there might be four giant cars hiding inside? That makes sense. You're pretty smart. Lomel. Luke, is the death die energy reacting anyway? No. But there seems to be something missing inside. Huh, that might be where the critical clue lies. Ah, look, over here. Looks like there's an orb inside some of these carp statues. Did we find some statues of carps? A large pearl on our way down the mountains? Maybe these are actually used for something. That's worth a try. Good job. Well, let's give it a go then. I apparently got a good few before I actually came to that. Huh. I tried. Move the water out of the way. Wait. Huh? Was Steven fully? Move it away. How do you move that waterfall away? Oh. They said waterfall. That doesn't look like a waterfall to me. So I instantly got confused because I was like looking for a way to plug up the little river waterfall. Not get rid of the magical vein. Stabilize. There is no escape. I got a mint during that. I stole your mint, dude. Mine now. Curiosity deserves a reward. Do I have one? Is it in the zoomer key? Why did I do that? It is a fontaine key. I need to go look for fontaine stuff then. Later down the line. That would be nice to do. I see everything. Now, time to go back. My apologies for the poor hospitality. It's been a long time since I enjoyed tea with others. Hopefully my brewing skills have not deteriorated too much over time. One... <laughs> I mean, I have some experiences in appreciating tea. There's little thanks to this that I was able to tell you 
that the year's tea offerings smelled off. That was how I discovered the trouble with the soil and water. Huh, do you think the offering rights would be that useful? <laughs> I suppose that I could tell you now. I could tell those who fail to appreciate the value of tea about its value with confidence. Come on, Luke has some tea. Not sure why, but it reminds me of Madame Ping's. Yeah, there was the one in the Liyue Harbor when we fixed Madame Ping's tea popper. <laughs> if you think about it, we have to see, we had knew that we seem to have quite a connection with tea. Madame Ping, I think of, I think I know who you speak of. You were acquainted back in the day along with her friends. As Lil Mao said, I was just a giant carp, unable to leave fresh water for too long. Nor live in salty waters. As such, they sent me one of these tea pots. That is how my friends would have been able to take me inside my teapot. Of course, the hilly plains and Leeway Harbor to meet those lovely people they spoke of. Unfortunately, such a time never quite came. Look, Paimon, you've been to Leeway Harbor. Can you tell me more about the city? I like to hear about it too. I've never been. Well, Paimon would like to start from one main restaurant. How about I handle the explanation this time? Sure, but don't you just skip over any- you know, fuck off. Mm. Give me a second while this goes on. Oh, it doesn't go on its own. Never mind. I need to do it now. We met many friends and experienced so many things. Oop, it was all worth it. Wow, a sea monster, huh? Liu Harbor is not what I mentioned. Do you find it disappointing? Well, no. Just different. Being different doesn't make it bad. I just like the Leeway Harbor you describe. It's good to hear that after all this time, our dear Herb Lord was able to find a home there. I think that's that's simply wonderful. What about you, Lil Mao? Can you tell me about you and your friend? I'm curious to know what she's like. I'm um, sure. I mean, Paimon and Luke have met already, so it wouldn't be fair if I didn't tell you. So this is how we met. <laughs> But later the snake was cut into pieces and the fish sank into the sea. Then only Bluey was left. Oh, the fi the snake was cut into pieces. She thinks the fish is you. Thank you, Lil Mao. Also, um, don't tell me. Tell anyone about my friend, alright? Of course we won't. You seem quite familiar with this friend of, of Lil Mao's fusion. Yes, indeed. But that was all in my past life. Many, many years have passed since I could no longer move freely. I expect that might not that I might not recognize her any longer, though from little Mao's words she might have not changed too much. Past life? <laughs> Perhaps that is not the most accurate way to phrase it. I did not utterly perish, but I did not lose my original form. But I did lose my original form, and my strength and wisdom dissipated along the spirit veins. This is also why I invited you and Luke to the carpet's rest. If we're if you, we were not there, I would not even have a form to show you or voice with to speak to you. It's thanks to you that I've been able to slowly regain my precious strength. Come here and once more seeing these scenes with my own eyes. Meeting old friends from the past and more importantly, making new friends. I'm very glad. How did you die? Memories of the that uh, memories of that have grown foggy. The Herb Lord and I were both servants of another god and I was... And it was I organized that rain jade right, administering the rivers and mountains for our lord. As for the other, she was as she is, a beast, wild and free. In those peaceful days, I also climbed waterfalls to Mount Lusing and Moon 
Mount Hula, and there I met with the Adepti, whose power and wisdom far eclipsed mine. Of course, that was all before the war. Our Lord was not a heinous being by any means. Once upon a time, she made many dreams come true. If there was any evil, it was the Ark itself. Ark and war itself. What happened next needs no further explanation on my part, I'm sure. Talk about how you and our Lord defected. That's right. That might have been the bravest thing we've ever done. Our Lord would, had all but gone mad. Seeking the position of God who may rule this world. Or perhaps seeking survival. Whether she... Either way, she lacked the power to overcome more acts. So in a final desperate gamble, she caused the issue... River to flood, hoping to destroy everything downstream. Of course, she knew that that would mean Russian Vale and its people. I. Wow, but a Paimon thinks that something should never. That's something you should never do. Period. Perhaps that's what. Just what the war does to people. Either way, that was our final venture as trio friends. Ling Wang attacked people and her with her familiars, having them to shelter and we prepared. We had prepared. Our blood fought against our mistress while I climbed Mount Ling Lin and hurled the vault of range aid into the rising waters. Of course that wasn't a proper range aid, right? It was simply to release the adeptal energy stored within the jade pendant to have the earth open its maw and swallow the rivers. And allow the jade mouth to grow and stabilize the flow. What happened next? <laughs> Didn't Mal, little Mal tell you how it all ended? Yeah, that's right. Wait, really? When? Alright, that's enough about the past. We should get back to performing the right so. True, but what about the golden carp? Isn't this what we're looking for? In truth, we've already you already found it, as with the previous one. That's how I was able to appear before you. It's just that I missed the scenery here way too much. So I couldn't help but have you but put but have a long chat with you all. After all, your sense of time and might are not the same. You won't tarry long enough once your objectives are complete, will you? As such, I apologize. Please forgive my capriciousness. Find anything you like? I want to see where you go. Okay then. I am so fucking out of it. Push in, push in, push in, push in. Though my power is still a far cry from how it was in the past, thanks to your aid, I have regained my much strength. Thank you. Next, we need to perform the ceremony. What effects will it have? It's been thousands of years since we last performed it, and the mountains, rivers, and spear veins have all changed a great deal. If it all goes well, the votive range aid will resolve the issue. Well then, let's begin. Oh, I'm so fucking drained, I'll be honest, because the Benadryl's really kicking my ass. Okay then. The fog's dissipating. Whoa, what's that? Hun. It's just like in the mural. Do you remember, Paimon? The one with the two golden people? With something in between them? Wow, you're really impressive, Lama. Paimon didn't remember that at all. Oh, the sacred mountain. Am I arid? 
to merely claim it was already transgressed. Uh, am I right? To merely claim it was already to transgress. But the ancestral inhabitants of this place are gone, and the community past lie waste and broken. Who shall judge us now? This is where the spirit veins of Chen Yu Veil converge. Though I can transmit my devil energy throughout the veil, bearing powers its water and its soils. We only one step off of Shiva Miracle. Are you prepared? Let's do this. Indeed. I'm not blinded now. I can actually see here. There we go. Are oh, you gonna take us all the way up there? Jesus. Oh, there's a teleporter there. Oh, that's because of this new area. Okay, Luke. Die. That's why it's new. Or not marked with teleporters. Okay, there we go. Stabilize. Oh, hi. Everybody stand back. I'm just going to shred you. Interesting. I could definitely use some exploring in this area. Lingluan, I perceived it would be you, and I do miss you so, but this really might have, might be a bad time. Yes, so Louis's name is Lingluan, or Lingwin? Lingwin, Lingyuan, Lingyuan? I'm gonna fucking butcher your name so much. Don't be like that, speak with me. The opportunity to speak will come, but it is not now. You know this. I know this, but I cannot allow it. Wait just a while longer. It will end soon. I do not like the the things up there, but it does not matter. Just leave it to me, Fujin. Do not come up here. Gather. Illusion shattered. Yeah, then it does heal fast, Jesus. I'm glad I started building them. I should be using Bennett for Spiral Beast. Hmm.
I am quite sorry for not being completely frank with you earlier. Though I became aware of it during our travels, I do not wish to believe that my old friend, Ling Ling, would be the source of the storm that buffets in Falcon Shinyu Valley of Vale. I actually had an inkling already. Eh? You did? When? How did you figure out? She, Herbord, and I once defended Shinyu Vale together. I think that she would do something so wicked. Her disruption of the spirit veins has caused the miasma to propagate. And the one who stopped me from performing the right the first time was also her. But Big Sis Fujin, Bluey, I mean, Ling Wang, or Ling Wan, Ling Yuan, isn't a bad person. I know Lu Mao. She's your friend, but at this time, she's the greatest threat to Shin Yu Vale. If she controls the Sacred Mountain, she will wield the power to completely alter the land of Shin Yu Vale in the blink of an eye. I fear that Ling Yuan has already entered Shin Yu Wang Terrace before us. She means to rewrite the flow and the path of spirit veins. We have a little time left. Look, you have Master Deptal Energy, Deptal Energy available in here in the Shinyu Vale. Ling Wayne and her family familiars will not will not be your match. Please come me for a time and aid me. For the sake of the people in Shinyu Vale, I will perform the ritual and open the way to Shiwang Terrace. Please stand by my side and protect me. being overpowered. I see everything. Uh okay. Stabilize. There is no escape. Grow, grow, grow. Why won't you listen to me? Will you not wait? Your strength is feeble. You cannot, ma what? you cannot match me. But do not worry. You will soon recover. Ming Wang, say no more. Luke and I will stop you. We will stop this. Plan to destroy my Shen Yu Veil. The ritual is complete. The gate is to Shen Yu Terrace now open. It's a fight against you, huh? Okay. Bye bye. Stabilize. I will have order. There is no escape. Enough with that. Ling Wen. A Ling Yun. Newman. Let me tell you. What you shall do. Fire arrows at my heart. If you approach up close, strike me with your sword. I will fight you to the last. You are the only one who here who can fight. When I have crushed your neck, I will triumph. No, I don't intend to kill you. Why? I do not understand. You already lost. Fine. You may ask me one question. 
You still really care about doing things like that, even though you lost, huh? Unless I exchanged questions. Loma, do you have any questions? Um, Bluey, why did you have to fight? Can we all be friends? You bunch of two-legged, and you, Fujin. You have not the strength to form two legs of your own, yet you wish to walk in their form and speak to me? But how can humans and wild beasts ever be friends? It's actually quite possible. That's not true, Bluey. You're lying. If that's the case, why didn't you just let those beasts eat me back then? If humans and beasts can't be friends, and you're a beast, you shouldn't have helped me. My actions are sometimes beyond my own understanding. You're merely fortunate. Well, why didn't you just eat mountains as well? She almost bumped into you while... Or mountain as well. She almost bumped into you while lost in the fog at the foot of the mountain. I saw it. Humans possess such wisdom that even nature submits to your will. In that case, you tell me, why didn't I eat her? Mount Lakeson is dear to Duchess Fusion. Assume you are correct. She has told me much about the Agent Wright. Ray Jane Wright, perhaps those memories affected my actions. You actually remembered everything I told you. Every year before the Wright, I, you would tell me and the, that white snake how expectant you were and how nervous. And after the Wright, you would tell us how the festivities were so fun and lively. You would always speak, and I could not help but listen. Only humans forget. I forget nothing. You have cleared this doubt of mine. Now you may ask a question. Well, this Fujin, have you any questions? Thank you, Luke. Just a while back, Ling Wing, I was telling them stories about our past. Why do you wish to write Ching Yu Vale, which went, we fought to so hard to protect? He planted tea trees, promising to enjoy tea with us. This too, I remember, that sort of tea no longer exists. I want to change this land. I want to make it like it all was those millennia ago, or that millennia ago. You have walked with humans for too long. You have forgotten that you and I and the snake are all came from nature. I knew that you never truly perished, and you did not depart this place like the snake. And so I wish to change this place to the form I ha it had when you were born. All these years I've been slowly adjusting the spirit veins. Oh, I get it. So that's where the miasma came from. Correct. Side effects in the end? In the process, the, the process will change, the process, not in the process. In the end, the process will change the soil, the waters, and the forest to what they should have been. What the soil, waters, and forest should have been? You truly forgot in the past. The rivers rose and fell with the rains, and their path was not fixed. The two trees and flowers were not trained or cultivated, nor did they exist for humanity. In such environment, you would regain your old form. And frolic once more in the great rivers. You regain your strength. Spiritual power blanketed the land in those days. The wild shrubs grew thick. Now the mountains and forests are silent, and the shimmering voice of the spring waters, tingling like jade, can be heard no longer. But don't you don't understand. You still think you must stop me. Ling Wang, I could not I count myself more blessed than most to have lived such a happy life in the end. My soul returned to the to my home. You are the one who does not understand. Yes, and I have never understood. You have defeated me. You should have taken my territory. You planted tea on my mountain and gave that land to the humans. I do not understand why you did this. Chinyu Vale was once but a nameless land, and you were a nameless insect, beast, and fish. Insects, beasts, and fish. I like the master of the uncultivated mountain, and today that place belongs to neither of us. You took the human form and walked among them. You instituted... The raging right, raging right, and help them change the soil and water. I did not understand them in either, but I could see how happy you were. The snake changed into human form and used her knowledge to create medicines and save the sick. I could understand how the agile human fingers could help her do what she wished, but I do not know why it was done. What happened? Oh, fuck, I skipped. You both flung to the Great River and then paid us of course. You could have chosen to leave them and live on with me. Let that 
which is human belong to them and the nature belong to nature. Even with our territory, you were to shrink. We could still live freely. But now you wish to stop me and defend this land subdued by humanity as me why. Anyway, my friend, it is I say I do not wish to protect them. Or I do wish to protect them. Do not answer me with my own question. I am asking you why. This language might be a beast, but she can sure cares about the order of things, huh? I know, that's how I learned so much from her. So you guys were just discussing about mountains. But not totally. That said, after hearing everything Blue said about Big Sis Fujin, I thought they'd be happy to meet each other. At first, I was like you. I did not understand humanity. I did not enjoy their excessive demands and love of hoarding and their, extern their eternal desire to have more than what they need while caring so little for the needy themselves. Trading, wealth, like you said, like you, I do not understand these concepts and do not understand why they influence human joy and sorrow. For across the long years, I have also seen many other things. The cries of children break my heart. The sound of an old person's shattered memories saddens me, just as though it were all as microism. Okay, I fucking I skipped again. Have you noticed them? Seen them? The children wash their feet of, in the streams. The fishermen who laugh beneath the light of the rainbow arcs. The moonlight trist of lovebirds. Their figures. Hmm. Or silver. I'm so tired. <laughs> Humans too are creatures of this land. Just how different is their innocence from ours? You mean to say that you have chosen to take their side due to these emotions? Not through natural principles or logic, and not due to anyone's orders. I expect that, for oh, fuck's sake, why you keep pressing that? I mean, I'm so sorry with the answer, Fujin, I do not understand. Do you not? I think you understood for a long time. When our lord, when our previous god raised the waters, it was you who brought your familiars around to attack the people and divide them to the shelters we created. I just... I just wish to help my friends to make their wishes a reality. Even if you do, even if doing so means again going against nature and the principles you, you follow, if it means going against nature and principles I follow, I will do so anyway. Well, then we aren't, aren't we all that different now, aren't we? Or are we? Didn't you choose your own position on account of your feelings? I satisfied with the intrusion. Now you may ask a question. Very well, I may ask. Question, Luke Paimon? Ask away. Uh, Paimon can't really think of any good questions at the moment. You've got the one. Go ahead. Acknowledge my answer. Acknowledge me and acknowledge that you made choices based on your own feelings. Well, let me ask you. N no, don't ask. You know what I'm going to ask you, right? If I needed your help, would you still make the same choice? That's right. And what's your answer? Yes, I would. Even should another thousand years pass, and even if you asked me a thousand more times, my answer would be the same. In that case, Leon, I do in fact need your help. I truly wish to save the people of Shenyu Vale. So please, don't stop me from nursing the water and soil, alright? I promise you, Fujin. You walked, a you walked with humans for so much time and learned their cunning. While I am but foolish beast, my claws and teeth are sharp, but I am no match for you. Thank you, Leon. Lingwen or Leo. And thank you, Luke, Paimon, and Lil Mao. You come to me for so long, and you help me so much, a lot. I wouldn't have made it here without you. I'm happy to have helped you, Big Sis. I'm so glad Louie got to meet you all, too. I was worried when you fought. You also have my thanks, Luke, Lil Mao. It was you who brought Fujin for me, to me, though the circumstances of the lid. Of the meeting were not of what I hoped for. Fuck me, I am so out of it mentally. Just completely cocked out. What about Paimon? Alright then, let us begin.
Are we done with the talk, guys? Big sis version? Big sense? Where did she go? You still not understand? She used all the energy she collected recently to nurse the lamb. Does that mean? Yes, it is as you suspect. But she struggled so hard too. Though we have now finished nursing the soil and water, the miasma that remains will not disappear immediately. You have to be careful out there. Eh? Sorry for making you all see me like this. It's just that Ling Wen said, I have completely used up the energy I collected recently and I can no longer maintain my favorite form. Well, Paimon thought, Paimon thought you were dead. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Paimon's glad you're still here. And took to his fusion. Seriously, Ling Wen. What about me? As long as he's still here, Adeptus Fusion, he wasn't entirely wrong, Paimon. Though my form is, has become, I am far more comfortable than before. At first, I was trapped as Carp's rest and could not could only reminisce the outside world through the scent of tea, of the tea offerings. If I have not met you, Paimon, you and Paimon, people of such capability with spirit veins, I would have not, but my ship. I would have not had none but my shadow to talk to you, much less be able to leave Carp's rest. Thank you for your concern. Please forgive me, but I must depart now. I'll need a bit of rest. Another thing, Yingwen. Speak. What else would you have me do or not do? Nothing. I just didn't say this due to circumstance that prevailed before, but... But it's good to see you again. I know. And conversation? Nope. Thank you all. And where did that come from? I should thank you for bringing her back, safe, smooth, and slippery. Even the way in which her fins move is the same as I remember. You sure have a strange way of remembering people or fish, whatever. I do not wish. I do not know how you did it, nor why you were able to obtain her adeptal energy. All these thousands of years, I have never once heard her voice. It might be due to the tangent and unique constitution. I see. However, I am but a foolish beast. If I wanted to see her again, I would not know a better way. I could only spend thousands of years clumsily imitating her methods, regulating the spirit veins in this one. I am quite stupid, and I only know this method, and so I did it. It is akin to scooping every droplet from rushing river or every grain of sun from the vast desert. I knew as well that she would not smile as what she once did even if these mountains return to how they once were. She and I and the snake once laughed, and that's why I'm happily to here. These days will never come again. She loves humanity too much, even more than she loved herself. Had I had succeeded, she would only hate me. But that would have not mattered to me, so long as she could regain her form and swim free once more. If I meant that you were more concerned about nature, of course I care. A land untamed by humans. A land of wild beasts. But that is a different subject from matter of Fujin. If she thinks the land tamed by humans is better. Then. And that the strange tea leaves grown on such land taste superior. Then I shall do what pleases her. So thank you. You're welcome. Well speaking of that. Paimon's curious. What did the tea leaves taste like in the past? When the land changed before. The tea leaves flavor was much closer to what it was in the past. Apart from some differences due to human influence. Wait, so you mean the weirdly flavored tea cakes we had were? In that case, I prefer the current flavored. Kerfa. Tea leaves cultivated by humanity will be more to their liking, of course. What I do not understand is Fujin's taste. If the snake was here, we could ask her for her opinion. But perhaps her tastes have also become strange from spending so much time with humans. Before you go, I must have one final question for you. Those that come from nature will, for some reason, go against nature, against the laws nature originally followed. Will humans go against humanity? Against the principles they initially followed, for some reason? That depends on circumstances. You may as well have just said yes. It's not yes, it's circumstance. Thank you, I received the answer I desired. Well then, Lil Mal, Luke, Paimon, we shall meet again. Wait then, see you later, Bluey. Also remember to take care of Big Sis Fujin. She also kind of seemed weak right now. So she could use some extra care. I will, Pharaoh. Bye. I have a question for you as well. Ask 
then I do owe you that. If human activities are part of the laws of nature, how would you view humanity? A strange question. In the distance past, they were deep part of a nature, but they are so no longer. That is because... No, I need to give this question more thought. Next time we meet, I'll give you my answer. I, I need to escort you back, and I would like to fucking finish the quest, please. Too much talking. Goddamn. Where is this? In the tree, isn't it? <laughs> You're back. We were just saying the good rainfall's bound to bring some good tidings. And what do you know, dear guest? You arrived right on time. How did it go? Well, I trust. Tell us all about it. We were able to click. It was all thanks to Adeptus Fuji. So you met the legendary carp Adeptus? Oh my. So as one would expect of the young master of the newcomer's guild, you really do have friends in high places. Now your water and soil problems should be no more. Well, although... Blah? 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 What did I say? I told you it was the soul and the problem, but you wouldn't listen. If it wasn't for them, who knows what then our tea leaf problems would have been solved. That, uh, Lucalias, thank you for both your help, you honored guest. For the help and protection of the carp deptus, I'm sure our village will surely see a great harvest of tea leaves co this coming year. Ah yes, please take these. Take it as a totem. Thank you. Right, Paimon almost forgot. We came across his kids during our adventure. Is he from the village too? Uncle Lil, I'm back. What well, isn't Lil Mal? Play of a mind to come back, huh? And you don't seem worried at all. Uh, and what is there fret about? This kid runs from the mountains all the time, and he always comes back safe after getting tired. If you ask me, there's been a death that's looking after him in all secret all along. You may, you know, maybe it might even be a said have been said carp to death is. As I said, Bordor, that wasn't a death this, it was blooming. All right, all right, Lomel. Don't argue with Lil here. He's just trying to know what he's talking about. Come by my place later. I'll make you some egg custard. And now you pretend to be a good person? Wait, what do you mean, pretend to know? In any case, I don't really know how to pay you, dear guest. If you should have any help in the future, Xiaoying, Xiaoying Village will be there to lend you hand. Then, Done. Done. Kitchen. Um. Oh, there's another one. Only problem with those is that they have so much dialogue that aren't voiced, so it's like so burdensome to go through it. It's like destroying my throat right now, and I'm very tired. That doesn't help either. I'm like slurring constantly in my. Statements, prolonging the words, repeat myself 700 times while also being out of it. Uh, uh, Okay, well, shit, I didn't mean to open up something. I opened up something on the background. Uh, put to put to put. I'm looking for something.
So it's over here. I did, did we do Sh Shen Yu's Blessing of Sunken Jade? We did it, yeah. Okay, so we just gotta find the area we have to be in. Which is here. And then I'll probably con it once I find it, which is probably down here. Right? I don't know. Good simulacrum. I don't know what this is doing. I really don't know what this is doing. Hmm. Can I not get stuck on a fucking rock? What they say is true. How do we all like this? You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. A clouded path. A ranging clouded path. What's this? I need to find out. Um... Okay, we already did that. What is this? Okay. I it's saying we do this.
So I'm going to try it. Right, we had to do this apparently. Luke and Paimon, you're here. Oh, Lou, why are you over here? Because I can't get in. Can't get in? Uh, where can you get into? Car's rest, where Fujin is resting. Car's rest, oh, you mean the place Fujin dragged us off to back when? Is a boat sealed by her dental energy. I don't have the, her dental energy, thus I cannot go to her. Huh, but you didn't mention anything before she was back to rest? Escape 21. Do you need help? The depth of energy you possess is sufficient to open the gate of Carp's Rest, so yes, I need your help. Huh? Wait a sec, so you've been waiting here for us the whole time? I was not waiting for you, I was looking for a way to into the Carp's Rest. That seems pretty much like the same thing. Uh, anyway, if we're a bit worried about Fujin's condition too, so why don't we go ahead together? Fine, thank you both. Follow me. I just want to rush through this. Unlock the thing. Oh shit. That's what I was looking for. Huh? Luke, Paimon, and Ling Ling, why did you all come here? Whoa, that's Preacher's the Voice, and it's coming from down below? Anyone is lower about you? I am not, I just... Yeah, Ling has been so worried about your health that she can barely speak, so we just came here without giving you a heads up. But you did the same thing to us first, so Paimon thinks we're square now. Huh, I'm sorry, I, when I returned here to rest, I think I forgot to unlock the entrance. I am so sorry, you came here to see me, but I made things hard for you instead. I wasn't much a puzzle, but why are you, uh, hiding in the puddle? Hmm, how should I put it? Because I can't return to the form I prefer yet. With you guys always seeing me in my car form, I can't help but feel a bit embarrassed. So there's no need to hide yourself, is there? <laughs> but before I could turn back into human form whenever I wanted, without moving around as carp would just that matter of convenience. But now all I have is this slick and slippery self, so I find it a bit... Well, that's a bit strange to be so insistent about. But anyway, all that matters is that you're okay. But Lingui said that your adeptal energy wasn't consumed. It was just dispersed around the mountains, forests, and rivers of Shinyu Vale. That's why you've been weakened so much. So if we were to collect the scattered death energy, it's like when we were finding the golden carp in y Yadi Valley, then you get better, right? Yes, at least in theory, that's correct, but... Alright, right, so if we see some of the carp, we'll just bring it back here. That way you'll recover much faster. That would be far too much trouble. My power's not that feeble. It's not yet that feeble. If I simply rest here for some time, I'll be enough. It's not that much of a hassle. We'll keep our eyes peeled if we run into it. Thank you, then. However, I really don't want to trouble you anymore on my path. You've done so much already for me. If the two of you should happen to find any more adeptal energy during your travels, please simply transfer it to the jade here. Through though balance has been restored to the water and soil, if we can add more power to the rain jade, we can ensure favorable weather and prosperity years to come. What about you? Really now? I already told you, all I need is rest here for a bit. Look, Paimon, I'm really grateful. I'm quite happy that you came to visit me. This is the first time anyone has come here since Head Lord left. Thank you as well, Ling Ling. I have done that in more different things. Alright, enough of that. Just think of me. Think of it as me thanking you for bringing Luke and Paimon here, really now. And lastly, let me thank you once more, Luke and Paimon, for all of you done. Alright. There we go. So this is just a minor one. A 
That makes sense, because there's only five per level. I have two pulls, though. A Chong Yu, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I, nice. We want that. Good, 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 good. But with that being said, done. That's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go take a breather. Thanks for the camera chat. Thanks for the camera watch. You're all lovely people. I'll see you people next time. Bye bye.